Namaste, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to talk about an exciting topic for me especially that is second brain. So what is second brain actually? Second brain is a tool, a system, a methodology which we can adapt into our life which can store and organize data and also we can relate ideas. In this video I will show you how I have created my second brain and how I utilize it for various purposes and through that I also will be giving you a sneak peek on my second brain. First of all let me mention what are all the platforms I am using for my second brain. I don't prefer using one platform as my second brain. Of course I prefer that but there, is, there does not exist a platform which has all the features I need to build my second brain. So I use three apps. I use three apps or three softwares you can call it. I use Notion, OneNote and Obsidian. OneNote is my major note taking app. It is basically what I use to transfer something from here to something tangible. Notion is very slow for quick note taking. right? So that's why I wanted OneNote. Of course, I previously used Evernote for that. If you can see here, I, I started note taking in 2020 and it's been more than two years now and it's slightly developed now. So at first I used Evernote as my primary note taking app. But the thing is, I, I noticed that this lacked a lot of features uh, and if I wanted some features, I wanted to go premium. At least at that time, I didn't want to spend anything on note taking. I didn't, I didn't know how huge this was. So I just switched to OneNote and which was completely free and this this was of course don't get over and overwhelmed by seeing all these things because it took a lot of time to accumulate this much of reflections and knowledge or whatever you call it. So now OneNote is my primary platform which I used for my second brain. I use OneNote mainly because of these reflections. The reflections are thoughts or insight which you get from within all those that happen within is here of course apart from my journal which i keep a hard copy to write i like the feeling to feeling of writing the journal because i don't want to get too much attached to any digital device because i write journal at early mornings and and before bed so it would be unhealthy to use phones or any screen devices at that time there are a lot of reflections here uh, more than 250 or 300 I think some are di directed to people for example this one is directed to people because out of frustration seeing all those hacks in this world and some are to myself right but most of the times it is both like this one a tool is never something that inhibits or harms either in short or long term so these are my primary source of wisdom there, there are a lot of reflections I have I have written in this and there is of course quick notes which is where I dump all the ideas. So I write in the notes app which is inbuilt to my phone and then transfer that to one note and paste it here in the quick notes. And then I move it to whichever section it belongs to. Personal planner, I have book list, I have philanthropic goals, objectives for 2020, my routines, birthday habits, so many other things. And there's content planner of course. What what are the YouTube videos I want to do, what are the Reels video I want to do. As I told you, there's reflections and then there is my website where I write my blogs. As of now, I've written 60 blogs and uh, there are other pages here also. My Learn, Learn Violin page and my personal blog ideas, things I can add to my website. And there is my book, uh, The Flower of Fulfillment. I have written all the chapters here. And this is my next book. This is another book I just don't want to show you right now. And this is resources, ideas. There are few from the reflections which come into the idea section. That means that idea is worth executing. Today or someday I will be executing something from this section, right? Uh, of course, not every every idea will get executed, but still uh, I keep a section for ideas. And this is archive, which is all it is near to the Spain. So that is my primary note taking app. That is one note. And Next we have Notion. I wanted Notion to work for me so badly that I I just made so many columns here and I think it was a cool app when it, it was launched because it has tables, sections we can make and you can you can customize your dashboard, so many things, right? It is like your own website, but not exactly. So here I have in areas I have my music, music database, 
this is huge i keep all my varnas krutis all types of compositions notes here i have maintained at least for most of them here and i have my violin class you know student directory you have names batch timings fees paid or not phone number phone code you can add all those things and i have youtube videos here i am not using this section right now the card of this podcast it is abandoned i had no idea that my reflections would go so huge so i thought of uh, you know maintaining it on notion but notion was too slow for that i i, I wanted something very quick and uh, very easy to maintain these are all the youtube videos i've watched emails i've read and blogs i've read and podcasts i've listened to all those with notes right even books i've read there are there are a few books i've read that i have made in notes for although i'm not using this kind of method right now i think it will help you make your own methodology make your own database make your own second brain and uh, i think that's it for notion i use notion mainly for my music database because i have a lot of kritis and scripts to be retrieved immediately and uh, violin classes to manage my student directory and then i have the last platform that is obsidian this is very recent addition to my workflow and this is how my second brain would look like if if it was in node nodal connectivity form whatever you call it neural form whatever you call it so i am very excited to uh, show you this and uh, so this part is reflections as i told you there are more than 200 of reflections and you can see how much of the whole second brain it has occupied only the reflections i wanted to show you something here so reflections is connecting to creativity and creativity is one that binds my book my blogs and my reflections so whatever i am learning that is coming in the form of reflections and those reflections i am using it to create to make to write my blogs to write a book and i think at this point i can explain you why second brain is necessary especially something like obsidian so it connects various ideas right of course there are so many other connections i have yet to make right it is very hard to do everything at once so these 200 of them definitely connects to one or the other dots which are already present here what second brain helps us is to make our ourselves conscious to what is there in our memory and how everything is arranged in our memory and by creating a second brain you are more conscious of it and now you can retrieve information very quickly you know where what is and and also more than that it will help you create more i tell you what i just by creating this structure i got so much clear of what life is you know what everything is you know because see, see if you can see here i wrote uh, flower of fulfillment right so so i divided my second brain second brain into four parts mainly and the fifth one is spirituality of course so we have love and service we have freedom we have wisdom and we have health and that connects to the types of yogas right we have karma yoga here we have kriya yoga here we have raja yoga here and we have gnana yoga here that connects to everything so there is a lot of things that is going on here so much interconnected things i'll show you one of the best benefits of maintaining a second brain that is you get insights you you can get a new kind of connection which you wouldn't possibly think of so for example here i wrote yoga is not of types it's like a spectrum of light which has beams of different wavelengths why did this come because here i saw everything is so much interconnected all the types of yogas all of them are so much interconnected so much interconnected that they are not essentially separate parts separate individual things they are yeah they have their own characteristics but they are essentially one beam of light you can imagine that one beam of white light which has all the colors in it right so yoga is essentially that and i wouldn't think of this inside if i wouldn't have build my own second brain i could clearly realize what is the limitation of second brain the second brain's limitation is that it is the second brain it's not the primary brain right what our brain does is it has the ability to grasp from the world 
directly, right? It has the senses connected to it directly and hence it has all those experience stored here and it is influencing it at every second, right? But you cannot store those things in your second brain. I don't know, maybe in the future there might come a technology where you can record every second of your brain and store it as a second brain. I don't know whether that is possible. It is, it is like a paradox. The second brain is very efficient if you can store more and more data in it. You have more data to tackle with, you can see more data and you can then relate those data. But if you have less data, there is less probability that second brain is of any use at all. Right? So for example, if I had only scripts of 10 Kritis, it wouldn't be of any help. I could use it on a sheet or I could even use a gallery app for that. So for example, if I could store all the notes for for all the books I've read, that is more than 100 books, probably this would have been even more helpful. But I couldn't keep up with it. Uh, I, I couldn't store so much data in it, I couldn't grasp and type it out and it is very time consuming. I tell you second brain is a tool so if you are spending more time on on that tool instead of what you are working on actually you are you are doing something pointless so if a tool is distracting you and time consuming more than what you do best then that tool is not worth even having the same thing happens here at my reflections i have more than 200 reflections or insights here but still i, I could have missed another 200 to be written on second brain. So that is the limitation of the second brain. It is time and energy consuming. So that's that. I think in this video, you got a sneak peek on what my second brain looks like. And through that, I believe you can create your own second brain and maintain a system where you can store, organize information and also connect various things to get a great idea. So I showed you OneNote, Notion and Obsidian, which I use to build my second brain and I've, we've also talked about the benefits of second brain and and through this video I urge you to create your own second brain and I believe this video has helped in some way to inspire you to create your own and that's it for this video thank you for watching I'll see you in my next video